Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add pagination to your existing Gatsby blog. This is an example of what I'll be showing you. This is my personal blog and I have a couple of posts here. And after going through 10 posts, because I limited each page to 10 posts, you're going to see the next page. And when you go to the next page, you can see the URL is updated because we're currently on the second blog page. After a couple of 10 posts, again, you have next page and you can also go to the previous page if you want. So this is an example of the pagination i'll be showing you this is a gatsby starter blog and i cloned it from the gatsby starters so this is the site for that here you can also clone this if you'd like to follow along so like i said this is an existing blog and this is where we'll be adding the pagination to i'll be showing you the code for that before moving forward to show you how to add pagination i want to just update this gatsby starter blog to suit my own needs so currently the blog posts are on the root page but i want them to be on the blog page so i'm just quickly going to do that now Okay, and here it is. So currently the roots page just has this bio with my image and this text and the blog page is here. I also updated the blog content. So what I just did was to go to the pages, go to the blog, move the code from this index to this blog, and then coming here to this content, I just added some demo um, markdown post with first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, as you can see here. So let's proceed to add pagination. To add pagination to your Gatsby blog, you're going to use this library called Gatsby Paginate. So the first step is to install this library. I'm going to open my terminal here in my VS Code editor. You can use any editor or any terminal of your choice. npm install Gatsby Paginate. And now that it's installed, I can close this terminal and I can also close this file. Now you're going to create your paginated pages in the Gatsby node file and you can see from the Gatsby starter, this is the existing code that is here for creating pages for each markdown and all of those things. I'm not really going to walk through how, lo how all of this markdown and all of these things work as that is not the scope of this video. So to use my library, I'm going to require the library here and I'll assign it to a variable called create paginated pages require Gatsby paginate. Here we have this GraphQL that queries all the blog posts which is from this contents place here. It queries all the blog posts from here. So this is where I'm going to create the paginated pages. So I'm going to come down here after this post down here and then I'm going to use create paginated oops create paginated pages and this accepts an object with few properties and I'm going to show you the properties and what each of them mean. The first property is edges which is going to be an array of all the posts which we can get here on this variable result.data.allmarkdownremark.nodes. Then the next property is the create page function which is supposed to come from Gatsby and since this already exists here from the actions object I'm going to assign that to this property. This is useful so that the library can create the paginated pages. The next thing is the page template. Now this is the template that the library is going to use to create your paginated pages. And I'm going to create this template shortly, but I'm going to call this template paginated.js. The next step is the page length property and you can use any length that you want. I'm going to use six for start. Later on, I'll experiment with a different value so you can see how it works. And the path prefix. So for the path prefix, since we want this to be blog slash one, blog slash two, blog slash three, then we can make the path prefix blog. And for the fact that we're going to make this path prefix blog, that means this library is going to create a blog page for us. And that also means that we have to delete this blog page from here. So I'm going to rename it to something else. I'm going to call it blog former so that this library can create the blog page for us and the whole index and pagination stuff. This library is going to pass the pagination context to this template. So one more thing we need to do is to update our queries so that these queries can get to the paginated template. And by updating these queries, I just want to steal a few properties from here. So I'm going to get the accept from here, put it in the node here. And I also want to get this front matter from here and put it below the fields here. Now I'm sure that this data is going to get to the paginated template. So let's go ahead to create our templates. Here in the templates directory, I'm going to call this paginated.js. I'll go to this blog former and I'm going to just steal some things from here like this. 
and then I can do export default function paginated or I can call it paginated templates this paginated template like I said is going to receive the page context so this page context is going to provide data for each page for the page on part one for the page on part two for the page on part three it's going to provide that in this context uh, first off, let me get one property from this page context and I'm going to use object destructuring here. Let me start by getting the page count, for example, which is the number of pages that have been generated on the blog part. And I'm going to return layout and I'm just going to return H2 and say maybe read articles from page count pages. Since I updated the Gatsby node, then I have to rerun Gatsby develop. I think I can also close this one. Yeah. So Gatsby develop. Now coming back here and refreshing, you can see that the blog page now has read articles from two pages. So the blog page was generated by the library and it currently has this H2 tag. So that means in total we have two pages. Next step, I want to show the posts in these pages. So there is another data from the page context, which is group. And what group does is that group holds the number of posts per the current page. So for slash blog, the current page is one. So it is going to hold all the posts for the page one. And I'm going to loop through that here. I'm just going to steal some code here. So I'll steal this OL tag from here and go back to paginated. I'm going to paste this. So for the OL, I'm going to map through group. And when I come back here and I refresh, you can see now that for the first page, it has six posts because that is what we use in our page length, if you remember. So it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you can see that is all for this page. For us to access the next page, I can press slash two here. And this is going to show seven, eight, nine, ten, which is for the remaining four posts. One other thing I can add here is the previous page and the next page so that I don't have to update the URL just to go to the next page. To do that, I can get more data from the context and the data I can get here is the index. So the index value is the index of the current page. The index for this page is one. When I go to slash two, the index for this page is two. So using that index, I can be able to get the previous page URL and the next page URL. I'll start first by declaring the previous index, which is going to be index minus one. And the next index is going to be index plus one. Then I can get the previous page URL. And what I'm going to do here is if the previous index is equal to one, the URL for this is going to just be slash blog. But if it is not equal to one, then I can do slash blog slash the index here, previous index. I'm going to do the name, same thing for the next page. So for the next page URL, I'm just going to do slash blog slash next index. By getting this previous page URL and next page URL, I can read it on the UI. Down here, I'm not really going to add styles to this. I'm just going to use the, the elements directly. So I'll use this imported link from Gatsby. And this is going to take a tool of previous page URL. And here I'm going to write previous page. And I'm going to do the next, the same thing for next page URL. And here I'm going to write next page. Let's go back to the UI and see. So I'm going to refresh. And now you can see there is previous page and there is next page. Although there is one problem here. Since we are currently on the first page, we shouldn't be having previous page here. I'll show you how to remove that in a second. But as you can see, the previous page has a slash blog slash zero. The next page has slash blog slash two, which takes us to the next page. And the next page, which is the last page, shouldn't be having this next page link also. Like I said, I'll be showing you how to remove that. But from here, if you go to the next page, since there is no paginated page for the third index. This is going to result in an empty page. And from the second page, you can go back to the previous page. Now, let me show you how to conditionally render this previous page and this next page, depending on the active page. We're going to get more data from context. And the more data we can get here is first and last. So if we're currently on the first page, the first variable is going to be true. And if we're currently on the last page, the last variable is going to be true. 
so using that information i can come here and say if the first page is not true then render the previous page and i can do the same thing if the last page is not true then i can render the next page text come back to the ui and you can see when we go the previous page is not here anymore because we're currently on the first page when i go to the next page you can see the previous page is here because there is indeed a previous page but then there is no next page because this is the last page this is how to add pagination we can also experiment by going to gatsby.node and maybe changing the page length to let's say three because i'm updating gatsby node i have to run this again gatsby develop when i come back here to refresh you can see the page count now is four pages and for the first page we have three posts three posts per page that's our page length when we go to the next page you can see three extra posts we can also see there is a previous page because this is not the first page and we can see the next page link because this is also not the last page so we can still go next page we have seventh blog eighth blog ninth blog and when we'll go to the final last page you can see the next page link is not here again and this is the tenth blog and we can go back go back go back until we get to the first page which also doesn't have the previous page link so this is how easy it is to add pagination to your existing gatsby blog if you enjoyed this video kindly like it and also subscribe for more simplified web content and you can also share this video with others